All right, so we're gonna do kind of a quick um, bursty flow, get your sweat on in a short amount of time. <clears throat> so let's start right away. Um, step with your uh, toes tucked, your booty's gonna be on your heels, and you're just gonna open up your feet for the rest of the practice. So place your hands on your thighs, or if this is really intense for you, you can place your hands um, down on the mat or even come up off your heels a little bit um, and walk out more of like a almost like a shortened tabletop type thing but um, as you get more comfortable um, or want more of an intense in sensation uh, place that your booty on your hips or on your heels and just close your eyes here and we're going to come right into the ujjayi breath so it's that inhale through your nose, exhale, lips are sealed, constrict the back of your throat, start that oceanic breath, like you're fogging up a mirror with your mouth closed. You can close your eyes here and send that breath into your toes so that that sensation that might feel like really intense right at the beginning of practice. Um, just send your exhales there. Two more times, inhale. Make your breath audible so you know when you're not breathing anymore because you're not hearing it. After your next exhale, come forward to a plank pose. <clears throat> Place the tops of your feet on the ground and just hit it on the floor. All right, so hands will be under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We're gonna drop down to our left forearm here. Um, you can actually drop down to both forearms. So just feel how different, or this is, um, this feels a little bit different. Um, and we're gonna release that right leg back towards the um, back of your mat. Flex that foot, toes pointing down, uh, and then release your right arm forward. And we're gonna come with your, the back of your right hand, place it at your lower back and bend that back knee. And then we're just going to pulse up towards the sky. So feel your abdomen engage here. Pull this up. Feel your navel push towards the sky. And don't sink into this right um, shoulder here. Press out through your left hand and forearm into the mat. And you'll feel your right hip come alive here. And don't sink into it. Pull it up. Hips are even. Just keep pressing towards the sky. You might even start getting a little hot already. If this is too much, you can, grab, you can um, stabilize yourself a little bit with your right hand down on the ground. Otherwise, just keep it here. If you feel yourself sinking, go ahead and stabilize. And then release your right arm forward, left leg back. Flex that foot still. And we'll come up to the side. So stay with your breath here. Exhale is when you are goal-posted arms and fire hydrant legs. Inhale forward, exhale side. Inhale forward, exhale side. Inhale forward, exhale side. Breathe in to the burn. One more. Release out and come down to the ground, both on your forearms. And you'll come back up to um, all fours and your right foot is going to um, rotate towards the back and you'll come into gate pose. So I'm going to face you, but your uh, hip is going to be right over that knee and left, arm, left, left leg extended. I'm not 
I'll go ahead and marry you actually right now. So I'm marrying you. And then you'll lift up that left leg and that left arm come together. So your inhale is here, extended. Exhale is crunching. Feeling it on the outside of that leg and in your obliques. Two more. And then go ahead and extend. You can even look down at your right arm. And then release that left arm over. Right arm comes up towards the sky. Don't put any weight in this uh, left hand, but reach that right arm up towards the sky and then arch over as you stretch this other side. If this is too much for your neck to look up, go ahead and look at this at the ground. All right, and then we'll go to the other side. So come to all fours. You know what's coming. Come down to your forearms. Release this time your right leg back, left arm forward. Bend that back knee. Back of the left hand comes to the sacrum and pulse. Again, option to stabilize here. You can even come up onto your fingertips, but press out of that shoulder, that right shoulder, keeping that strong. You can even do some short exhales as you press towards the ceiling. Exhale, 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 exhale. Stay with me here. Might start me sh start shaking like I am. That's why we're here. We're here to get a quick sweat, get into our bodies, get grounded, so we can do the work that we need to do. And then release your left arm forward, right arm back. Bend both arm and leg. Fire hydrant low post. Release. Exhale, bend, inhale, release. A few more here. Three, two, one. Release out and then <clears throat> down to all fours. This time, your left knee will rotate left foot towards the back, right foot um, extended out to the side. Did I do that opposite? Whatever, just do the opposite side. <laughs> I thought I was marrying you last time and maybe I wasn't. I don't know. No, I think this is right. Yeah. Jeez. Now I've got my mirroring game. Yeah, so your left leg goes back. So you're gonna have your right leg out to the side. <laughs> Woo, all right. So, uh, right leg is out to the side. Right arm up and over. Come on to the fingertips of your left hand. You can be on the, um, the top of your back foot or up on your toes for a little bit more support. A little bit more opening of those toes. And then you exhale, lift arm and leg together. Open up your, uh, turn on your obliques. Turn on your IT bands and your thigh. you can't really turn on your IT band. It just gets tight. Here, stop talking. Anatomy was never my strong suit. <laughs> Optine's gonna be laughing right now. All right, one more. And release. So left arm comes up towards the ceiling now. 
and we'll arch over towards that other side, side stretching that left side. Take a look at this um, foot as well, and if your, your toes should be um, as perpendicular to the long side of your mat as possible. All right, come back to all fours. One, um, place your hands, one hand for the front, and come up to your first downward facing dog. We'll just continue with a couple um, quick sun A's just to get you out of your brain. Anything that is in your mind, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're thinking about your body, uh, the rest of your day, this practice, whatever, just let it go. Do your brain surgery here right now. Inhale your gate up towards the front of the mat. Step, hop, or float to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep a little bend in your knees. As you sweep up towards extended mountain pose, exhale, right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. So plank pose, and halfway down on your exhale. Inhale, as upward facing dog, push the floor away. Press on the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, right away. Step towards the front of your mat, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up. Before you can even think about it, exhale, down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, all the way down, chaturanga, halfway. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time, gaze towards the front. Jump forward before you can even think about it. Inhale up, exhale down. Sweep up towards the sky, palms meet, and then reach all the way down again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank to low plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right foot meets in between your hands. Heel of the left foot down, warrior one. Sweep up, palms reach to the, at the sky, all the way down to the ground. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Palms reach up at the sky. Bring hands down. Chaturanga. It's quick, easy. Right side again. Well, not easy, but simple, I should say. Postures that we've done before and down to the ground but you just move at a different pace. It changes your practice completely. Left side, warrior one. Come on, guys. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down, still moving with the breath. Exhale, halfway lift and upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. And stay there. Feel your heart pumping. Feel free to take a couple exhales out your mouth. Inhale all together. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale all together. Exhale out the mouth. Right foot forward, pigeon on the right side. So, right knee is behind right wrist. If you need, you can place a blanket or a block or something under that right hip. Check over your right shoulder. Make sure that all your toes are on the mat. The tops of your toes are on the mat. And if you want, you can stay up on your fingertips or quickly drop in to a sweet pigeon pose, sleeping pigeon. We worked into our hips today fairly quickly. We got our heart rate up um, and our sweat on. And sometimes that is all we need to make us better 
at studying, better at the hospital, better, more focused, more disciplined without, throughout the day, just getting our body moving even for a few moments, wakening up the skin with a little bit of sweat really makes a difference. All right, right leg back towards downward facing dog and shake it out a little bit. And then left leg towards the front of the mat. Scooch that right foot back as much as you can before you set your hips down over your left. Um, big over your left. Stay up on your fingertips or go ahead and sleep. Sleep that pigeon. I have this gratitude journal that I've started doing and it has a quote at the top of every day and it says, how we live our days is surely how we live our lives. Uh, and I, it, that really uh, hit me because um, we are so, it's kind of strange, the life that we're in right now. You are so focused on the future and then uh, because everything you're doing right now is such delayed gratification, but then at the same time, there's so much to do in one day that you're like uber focused on what studying you have to do today or what test is tomorrow. Um, and I think we forget that the little things that we do each day, time that we take for ourselves, time that we take to sweat, um, quiet time that we have to just reconsider our why and why we're doing this all in the first place. Come back to downward facing dog, shake out that left leg. And it's nice to just have the little reminder that the habits that we're forming on the in these days are ones that we will carry throughout our lives too. So self-care is super, super important at the beginning of our careers. Go ahead and come down to your knees. And we'll start, or we'll end where we started. So tuck your toes under, <clears throat> hands on your thighs. Feel how much more open they are, your feet, your hands, your body, your heart. And go ahead and place both of your hands on your heart. So your left hand on your heart, your right hand over your, that left hand. And close your eyes and we'll take three breaths together. So inhale, well, exhale it all out first, wherever you're at. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, open it, open mouth, exhale. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. Exhale gratitude and love for yourself into your hands. Exhale, love and gratitude out. Hands to heart center, heart places. Thank you so much for trusting me with your time and your space. I hope you go through the rest of this day or night or wherever you're, wherever you're at with a little bit more clarity and focus. Thank you for spending your time with me. Namaste.